It is Mexico day three. I just finished with all of my meetings for work. John has already been at the pool. I think he's already worked out. So we're gonna go down there and join him. Because John was feeling so sick, we did not film a day two, but here is day three where we stayed at the resort to work, relax, and eat. John is down at the adults pool with his parents, so that's where I'm headed. One good thing about this resort is it never felt crowded. There were always people around, but as you can see, I barely pass anyone on my way to the adults pool. Also, because it's pretty small, it doesn't take you more than five minutes to get anywhere. Plus, you can get to most places while staying in the shade, and that's a huge bonus to me since I burn within five minutes of direct sunlight. Now the adults pool is in the very back corner and it's hidden away, um, but the giant main pool with the swim up bar is on my right past this little hut that you can see and this is where they have food and buffets. And once we get past these bushes, we can see the ocean in the distance and just a reminder that you cannot swim in the ocean here, you can only swim in the pools. And I found him and y'all watch, the first thing he's gonna do is put sunscreen on me. Let me tell you, the sun down here and all over the Caribbean hits different. I was wearing my long sleeve swimsuit for almost all of yesterday and still managed to somehow get burnt for the few minutes that I wasn't in long sleeves. Now, I'm not someone who can just sit outside and relax by the pool, so I tried to work while the resort started up a volleyball game, but the Wi-Fi really only worked well in the lobby here and was super slow this far away, so I really didn't get anything done. If you do want to work here, I highly recommend just going to work in the lobby. And also, I believe they do a volleyball game every day, but that's not entirely confirmed. Because this isn't an adults only place, the game is always filled with children, so just know that it's not really worth playing competitively. Honestly, if the ball comes back over the net, that's pretty good. You can kind of see how it all went here. Now they did say there would be an adults only game after this and I didn't record it, but it basically went about the exact same way. Just a little bit of a higher chance that the ball would come back over the net. After that, it was lunchtime and the only place open was an American food buffet. I'm gonna leave the volume on so you can hear John's commentary. Like the Northern cow. Watch as they file through single file to get their food. <laughs> what do you think this is? All of the food here is to keep the cows docile and happy. That's true. Yeah, that looks like a burger turn. <laughs> You have fried cow and fried cow turd. Ah, yes. The coveted brown bean. Yeah. All right. It's uh, even yes. American cheese. Ah, yes. The American cheese singlet. Can't even get Watch as the American face lights up as she sees the American cheese singlet. Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. Is mayonnaise an instrument? Whoa. Whoa, now, Bessie. <laughs> I like mayonnaise. Ah, uh, yes. The melon. What is that? Is that coconut? I think that's coconut. It's kind of like if a potato and an apple Throw a had a melon on there for me. Do you want a jicama? Sure, give me a jicama. They're pretty good. It's like a chill apple. Like an apple with no flavor. Good. I can't wait. <laughs> All right, eat your stick. What do we think of it? It tastes like a cucumber. Uh, okay. Cucumber. A cucumber apple stick. We saw a guy with a hawk walk by our table and immediately John took the camera to ask him what he was doing. We thought it might be some kind of show for the kids that are staying here. 
Turns out he uses the hawk to scare away other birds who want to come onto the property and he really didn't want to talk to us. So we left him alone. And after that, it was nap time. And while I can't just relax while awake, I am a huge fan of a nap. John crashes the second his head hits the pillow, which I'm super jealous of. I'm not like that. And after this, it'll be dinner time. Hey everyone, we're going to uh, Poncho's for dinner tonight. It's a Mexican restaurant at this resort. Uh, since we're in San Jose del Cabo and we love Mexican food, we're gonna see if it's actually authentic Mexican food or more Americanized. Chances are it's gonna be Americanized, but we'll let you know. So the decor of this place was super cute and the staff were very friendly. I'm gonna give a short overview now since I didn't film the food. I was way too hungry by the time it came. All of our food took about 45 minutes, if not longer, to come out, and it was definitely not Mexican. It was very much Americanized. I would honestly rate it a four out of 10 since I wouldn't eat here again. I'm never a fan of food at a resort. In fact, I'm not really a resort person, but this restaurant was pretty rough, even for resort food. So after this experience, we know that we will be eating out and not really coming back to eat the food at the resort. So we can't wait to show you all the great restaurants that we find in town. Make sure to join us again tomorrow.